Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about dimensional things. So, in a, come in the first few tutorials, we taught you about width and height, right? So we taught you how to uh, set this content to be a width that's either a percentage or a length in pixels or something, and a height as well. But sometimes you don't always, I mean, a lot of times, you don't always want an exact um, number for that. Let's say um, we have this, we want this to be, you know, when it's small, we want this to take up 80% of the window. But when it's uh, large, we don't want it to take up I don't know how long this is. Let's check it out. Um, I don't even know if I can. Uh, let's see. If it'll let me. Either way, uh, when this page is long, this content can get upwards of 1,033 pixels wide, which is no big deal. But let's say we don't want that. We want this to only get to um, 800 pixels wide. Uh, but we want it for the, the rest of the time, we want it to be 80%. Well, we can use things like min width, max width, min width, or min height, and max height. So let's do this example that I was actually just talking about. So we want our wrapper, for the majority of time, we want it to be 80%. But we want its max width, we want the maximum this width can get to be, um, let's say, 800 pixels. And then in the same right, we want the minimum width that this can get to be, uh, let's say the least it can get is 400 pixels. So if we save that, let's go to our document, refresh. We might see some uh, change here. Let's get rid of this, refresh. Okay, so you can see right now it's 80 pixels wide. Well, it's actually gonna be 80 plus the 220s for the, the padding that we had added a couple of lessons ago in the padding. But either way, the width is set to 800, despite uh, we us telling it with 80%. So if we come in here, uh, the moment this gets um, to the point where 80% of this uh, this area is smaller than 800 pixels, we'll see this start to move again. Okay, so now it's moving, and you can see it's decreasing in size with it until we're going to get to 400 pixels, and then it will stop decreasing in size, and the window will start to overlay it like that. Okay. So check it out. What? Okay, so now it's the perfect width no matter what because we've built the site to be able to accept this sort of flow. Um, and let's, in the same right, let's say our, uh, we don't want this giant chin down here because our content doesn't go that far. Um, but let's say uh, we put the height at, I don't know, we'll put it at 100 because Actually, I take that back, uh, but that's illustrating my point anyways. we Let's say we put it at 150. Refresh, we have all this content, and then later uh, we decide, hey, we want to add a ton more content, of course, because your site will hopefully be growing. So we add a whole bunch of new paragraphs here. And now let's refresh our page. And you can see since we've declared that this has a height here, it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna move down. So let's say if this content is in here, uh, we want this to be the same height right now as it is anyways. So we can set a height for this. Um, let's set it to 200 and see how that looks. Oh boy, okay, I need more than that. So let's set the height to 300. Okay, so this is going to be 300, but then of course if we add more, it's gonna have that problem again. So we can have this be the uh, minimum height is set to, um, and that's the same, it's just min hyphen height, and actually let's set this to 200 pixels. Um, now refresh your page here, and not much has changed other than this just adjust it a little bit. So now we have our padding, 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 padding. The content is nice in here. If we add more content, um, let's add five more paragraphs, let's say yo, um, refresh, it adjusts. In the same right, if we get rid of all of these paragraphs that say yo, except for the original ones, uh, the smallest it's going to be is, uh, I believe, 200 pixels. So yeah, so now this is great because, uh, you know, this is as small as we want it, but it also adjusts for the more content that we have. So you can use height, min height, max height, uh, 
min width, max width, and you can get all sorts of great stuff going. Um, and I should mention that, you know, th these aren't supported in IE6, but if you're still developing for IE6 in 2012 here, uh, then I feel really bad for you because um, <laughs> that is no fun. But yeah, so uh, just to mention it, but check it out, use these up, and completely control the size of your divs uh, without having them be totally rigid. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts, let us know what you're thinking. Um, I'm sorry about not getting any videos out last week. Uh, I ended up getting really sick. In fact, I've been drinking water all day, hope, hoping that my voice is going to be okay for these tutorials. And it seems like it's lasted, so uh, there will be more this week. I'm going to try to make up for it by doing a little bit extra, but, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll do it if I can. So hit me up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts, uh, at Estalinsky. Let us know what you're thinking. As always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching. Bye.